Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I'm here today to just give you a load of different updates, information that I've gathered from across the community about Mega Constructs, because there's a lot of uh, ground to cover here, a lot of important updates that you guys should know about, so I thought I'd compile them all into one video, and I hope if you enjoy this kind of content, you'll let me know in the comments down below, like this video and subscribe for more of this news. And I want to give you an FYI first, I apologize. I'm about to make a lot of noise treading on this snow. Apparently my boots are incredibly crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the snow is just crunchy. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be walking across this lake while I'm talking to you guys today. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in Minnesota. I've been just compiling all this information, all this news that's been coming from different sources. A lot from a worker at Mega Constructs called Yan. He has a Q&A section on the Squad 45 Discord. So it's a great place to actually get insight from Mega themselves. And I'll leave a pinned comment to that Discord down below so you can check it out yourself. Maybe even add ask a staff member at Mega a question of your own. So we're gonna start this news roundup with Mega Halo Day. And this is something that I was going to make a video on yesterday, but I thought the information was readily available. But now I'm hearing from a lot of people asking me what happened to Mega Halo Day, like a lot of people don't know. So let's set the record straight there. Mega Halo Day was meant to happen yesterday. It was meant to be a virtual event on youtube.com slash Halo. And this was gonna have two main elements to it, a live panel with special guests where they were going to reveal lots of new sets, pretty much the fall 2022 lineup of Halo. And number two was the launch of the second Halo fan vote, where we could vote for a new set produced by Mega Constructs. So as you can imagine, a lot of people were really excited about this. It was going to happen yesterday on Saturday, and unfortunately it was delayed. Mega released a statement on their Twitter and Instagram about this. We are postponing the Mega Halo virtual panel as well as the fan vote, which were initially planned for this weekend. We will reschedule these events and let you know as soon as the new dates are confirmed keep watching this space for updates. Thank you for your patience and understanding. As you can imagine, people were frustrated about this. Um, I personally was not. When it comes to big reveals, uh, things are never that simple, especially when Mega has to coordinate with Halo themselves. Like usually 343 and Mega Constructs have limited amount of uh, at least transparent communication. We don't see them collaborating on many projects. So it's really interesting that Mega was going to host this fan event on Halo's official YouTube channel. Like that's a big deal. And you know, 343, they've essentially been drowning recently in how much uh, drama that has been going on with Halo Infinite. So it doesn't really surprise me that this fan event was postponed. And yes, they also didn't confirm a new date. I thought they would reschedule it for next weekend, but no, they have not confirmed anything yet. And this is not a point of concern for me. And to be honest, these guys are just normal people doing a normal job. Like, go easy on them, seriously. I've seen some people ripping into Mega online saying, how dare they postpone this event? It's their event and they can postpone it as many times as they want. Sorry if that's direct to you, but like, it's just not a concern to me. And I think if they need to postpone it to make it better, just postpone it. Like we're not in a desperate rush to see fall 2022 sets. We've not even got most of spring's 2022 sets in stores yet. I'm fine with the news. I'm fine with the delay. It's actually pretty good for me. I was absolutely swamped this week, so I don't mind it being delayed. I want to make a dozen videos once that actually goes live on both the Mega Halo fan vote and the virtual panel. Like both really important pieces of Mega news and uh, I am the Mega Constructs guy after all. I'm not bothered about the postponing. I think just take as long as you need so you can delay a polished, well-performed event. So that's all I have to say about the Mega Halo Day, which has been indefinitely postponed. I'm sure there will be a new date released maybe next week. Something happened, and from what I've gathered, it was out of Mega's control. So that is our first piece of information, and off to a rocky start. But the good news is I have a lot of nice news to share with you about spring 2022 sets, the Arbiter's Quest Winter Contingency, the 20th character pack, we got some really good news, so let's break it down. The first piece of news is concerning the most highly anticipated set arguably ever. That's the Falcon Sweep, the Winter Contingency. You know, everybody in the community has just been dying to get hold of this set. It includes a full noble team. I mean, a full noble team, as well as a newly designed Falcon with better seating to accommodate new articulation figures. I mean, the anticipation has been tangible. Like, it's been so exciting, this set coming out. And now we have an update. The Falcon Sweep is scheduled to enter production sometime in March. Retailers should have it in the April-May timeframe. It's almost upon us, guys. Couple of months. We can wait a couple of months, can't we? Like, 
that's not long. A couple of months will fly by, I tell you, fly by. So we should start to see the Falcon sweep April and May. And that kind of corresponds with what Toy Wiz has been saying. Toy Wiz and Deep Discount have now been claiming April, May is roughly the time that the Falcon sweep comes out. So that makes sense. And it's ironic because Deep Discount originally scheduled the winter contingency to release on the day of the 20th anniversary of Halo, which was November last year. So they were a little late on that one. Deep Discount is a funny website and I do receive a lot of messages asking if it should be trusted. I think they are going to fulfill all orders. They just continuously delay the set releases because I think they have no idea. I think they just put a placeholder to guarantee that you pre-order and then they just continuously delay it, which is a bad practice, but I think they will still fulfill all orders. So the Falcon Sweep is coming soon. And the best part of news is that's not even the set that's coming soonest. This is from Mega themselves, folks. The Gun Goose Gambit and Arbiter's Quest. First production runs have started shipping out of the factory. It's coming right now. The Arbiter's Quest and Gun Goose Gambit are out of the factory, which means they should be in retailers' hands in the next few weeks. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. Of course, the next question is what retailers are they going to go to? I imagine Deep Discount and Toy Wiz will fulfill their orders. Target and Walmart will possibly follow very quickly after that. Amazon will most likely have a huge shipment of these sets. I feel like it's been a long time coming, and I'm really excited about this. January and February were a little slow on releases. Halo Heroes 15 has been coming out just about now, which is exciting, but I'm I'm ready for some bigger sets. I'm ready to be hunting for the Gun Goose Gambit and Arbiter's Quest in targets. Like, I'm so hyped for that, so let me know if you guys are too. Also, let me know in the comments down below what set you are most anticipating in this lineup of sets. I'm really particularly excited for that Gun Goose Gambit. I think that's gonna be a really exceptional set. Really looking forward to those new brutes, especially. I got one more piece of really glorious information that you guys will just love. This, ladies and gentlemen, is from Yan at Mega Constructs himself. I just found out that several thousand units of the 20th anniversary character pack have shipped to Amazon, which means it should be back in stock around May this year. Several thousand 20th character packs are coming to Amazon. That is literally such good news for us. Like, I'm shook. I'm so happy with that information. You know me, I've been campaigning for a restock of the 20th character pack for ages. It was my first ever hot take video. It gained a lot of publicity, a lot of support. And I really do hope in some way that I helped sway the vote there. It, you know, it's hard to say because I don't know the first thing about production. This might've been pressure that was on Mega Constructs for a long, long time. And Yan himself has expressed distaste in how little stock was available. So it could be a whole collection of things, but if I in any way, and if you guys in any way helped produce more of this set, it's a glorious day for fans. Like we should be rejoicing. Yes, I know the comments are gonna be filled with, well, these several thousand will be scalped as well, Simon. I don't know about that. And to be honest, I think that's a negative way of looking at it. We've made some progress here. Several thousand are going back to Amazon and I guarantee the more stock that goes to Amazon, even if scalpers are buying it, it's going to decrease the price over time because there are just more available so people are not going to pay as much of a price and scalpers will be competing with each other more. So my best advice is for now, don't pay scalping prices on the 20th character pack. That'll drive down the price. Then the restock will hit and we will be able to hopefully get the 20th character pack at retail. What a glorious, glorious piece of news. Like that <laughs> actually made my day when I found out about that. So that is all of the positive news that we've got for today. The Falcon Sweep is about to enter production. The Arbiter's Quest and Gun Goose Gambit have already left the factory and should be with retailers within weeks. And several thousand of the 20th character pack are coming to Amazon. Rejoice, my friends. Let me know in the comments down below what piece of news you're most excited about and what set you're anticipating release for the most. You have a great day. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. See you tomorrow.